Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we are going to solve this system of equations, 3x plus yz equals 4, 3y plus zx equals 4, and 3z plus xy equals 4. Now obviously this is not one of the easiest types of system of equations because here we have these quadratic terms, but looking closely we can obtain a hint as to how we should approach this system. For example, all of these equations have the same coefficients for linear terms, which is 3, and come to think of it, they also have the same coefficients for quadratic terms, which is simply 1, and they have the same constant terms. Moreover, these three equations are cyclic. Therefore, what we can do here is to calculate the differences between two equations. For instance, equation 1 minus equation 2 gives 3x minus 3y plus yz minus zx equals 0. This method is very useful here because first, now the constant terms are eliminated, and second, we can further factor this equation by writing 3 times x minus y, then minus z times x minus y equals 0. So we have x minus y as a common factor. So we have x minus y times 3 minus z equals 0. Therefore, x equals y or z equals 3. And let's just call this condition number 4. Now, if we do similarly for other pairs of equations, equation 2 minus equation 3 gives y minus z times 3 minus x equals 0. Therefore, we have y equals z or x equals 3. And let's call this condition number 5. And equation 1 minus equation 3 gives x minus z times 3 minus y equals 0. Therefore, we have x equals z or y equals 3, which we will call condition 6. So we have these conditions. Thus, any solution x, y, z must satisfy these conditions simultaneously. But before we go any further, we have to make a very important observation. Actually, out of these three conditions, only two of them are independent. Therefore, if only two out of these three conditions are met, the third condition is automatically met. We can intuitively know this to be true by observing that conditions 4, 5, and 6 comes from subtractions 1 minus 2, 2 minus 3, and 1 minus 3 respectively, but the third one is merely the sum of the other two. Specifically, from equation 1 minus equation 2, we have 3x minus 3y plus yz minus zx equals 0, which is equivalent to condition 4. And from equation 2 minus equation 3, we have 3y minus 3z plus zx minus xy equals 0, which is equivalent to condition 5. And if we add two equalities side by side, we obtain 3x minus 3z plus yz minus xy equals 0. So x minus z times 3 minus y equals 0, which is equivalent to condition 6. We can also verify this dependency using the case table as shown here. In the table, four cases are shown where both conditions 4 and 5 are satisfied. For example, if x equals y and y equals z, then both conditions 4 and 5 are satisfied. In that case, we have x equals z, so we know that this condition 6 is also satisfied. And for other three cases, you can see how condition 6 is also satisfied as well. So knowing that only two out of three conditions 4, 5, and 6 are independent, we can cover all possible cases just by considering only two conditions, conditions 4 and 5. More specifically, there are a total of four cases where both conditions 4 and 5 are satisfied simultaneously, which are also can be seen from this table. So for case 1, where x equals y and y equals z, then we have x equals y equals z. Then if we pick one of these equations, we have 3x plus x squared equals 4. Actually, all three equations become 3x plus x squared equals 4, so we have x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0, x minus 1, x plus 4 equals 0, Therefore, x equals 1 or minus 4. So in this case, we have x, y, z as 1, 1, 1 and minus 4, minus 4, minus 4. Next, for case 2, 
where x equals y and x equals 3, then we have x equals y equals 3. So all three equations become 9 plus 3z equals 4. So therefore z equals minus 5 over 3. So x comma y comma z is 3 comma 3 comma minus 5 over 3. For case 3, where z equals 3 and y equals z, we have y equals z equals 3. So all three equations become 9 plus 3x equals 4. Therefore, x equals minus 5 over 3. So we have the solution minus 5 over 3, comma 3, comma 3. And for case 4, we have z equals x equals 3. So now all three equations become 9 plus 3y equals 4. Therefore, y equals minus 5 over 3. Therefore, x comma y comma z equals 3 comma minus 5 over 3 comma 3. So if we write down all solutions we have obtained, we have 1 comma 1 comma 1, minus 4 comma minus 4 comma minus 4, 3 comma 3 comma minus 5 over 3, 3 comma minus 5 over 3 comma 3, and minus 5 over 3 comma 3 comma 3. And these are all solutions to the given system of equations. And that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in another video.